Hey Collective, let's get some messages for the 4th. This is June 2022. And this is Collective Consciousness Energy. So what is the situation today for Collective Energy? Please God, clear, concise messages. Thank you. And amen. All right, what is up? What's the situation today, collective? Wow, okay, so we saw this Page of Cups yesterday, and he was the most probable outcome. So that's interesting. So this could be a communication, right? An apology, a small offer, a small gesture. Uh, you know, it's the, it's romantic. <laughs> this Page of Cups is very romantic because it's emotion energy. This could be a child of, um, water sign child yours or someone else's in your story here but um, yeah it's like it's like a love language I find so it can be considered an apology or just being a little flirty here just a small gesture like a small uh, yeah offer. There's a lot of goodwill here in the Page of Cups and artistry, right? It's it's emotional so there could be some poetry here, but definitely in the emotions collective. Okay. What are your thoughts? You or the other person's thoughts about the situation? would say that there's also a little bit of, um, <clears throat> I find there's a little bit of innocence here with the Page of Cups. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, what are you or the other person's thoughts about the situation? Collective. Um, it's also considered a person uh, because it's a court card. Oh, wow. Okay. So the thoughts about this situation is pretty romantic. Okay. Well, it's hard not to see this as a love reading. I hope you can see these here, guys. It's late, as you can see. Um, we have the Two of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Lover's card. Wow. That's really lovely. Someone has a romantic proposal, um, like an, this idea of um, love and partnership and success and maybe even showing off. You could be dealing with a Gemini or someone with strong Gemini in their chart or third house. With this lover's card, this is usually a decision um, here with the lovers. 
So yeah, let me see if I can punch this in a little bit. Yeah. Um, more cups energy here matching the situation. So if this isn't a love reading for you or romantic partnership, um, could be a business partnership, right? Whatever this reading is for you. This is, when it comes to on the mind, this is a big decision around a victorious partnership. And it could feel blessed. Wow. And I mean, we have two soulmate or twin flame, if, you, if that's your thing, um, energies here. I feel with this card in the center of these, there's like this coming to collect energy. I don't know how to explain that. That's not the actual definition of the card, but just where it is here and then... <clears throat> Wow, that's beautiful. I don't often see or really ever see those three cards together. So that's in the thoughts. And then with the situation being these feelings, <laughs> you know, this, like I say, this sweet gesture. Hmm. All right. It's very, it feels like a big deal. It's, it's, um, it could be a big decision for you or the other person here. But it's someone who you have to get. It's someone when it's the two of cups, something has to click, right? It's a natural or organic um, sort of, yeah, like a language, like a love language. Really in whatever area, right? Whether it's an artistic project or a creative project. Third house deals with communication. This is Mercury. So the sign that falls in um, your Mercury could play a big part here, so you might want to look up your Mercury sign if you don't already know it. So, very interesting here, right? So there's just a lot of, um, yeah, a divine partnership, no matter how, and it could be work and business. It could be something that People can't ignore that this is in the mind about this situation, right? So let's see the feelings. What are the feelings here? Collective feelings about the situation. Very interesting. It's a beautiful reading so far. Yeah, there's like a divine union situation there with the lovers. Mm -hmm. All right, so here are feelings. Wow. All right, so we have a little bit of heavier energy. We have another angel, though. So, I mean, there feels like ooh, a really deep and intense, uh, like, Again, we're seeing this, oh sorry guys, we're seeing this devil energy here with this compulsion, this, it's like, listen, I consider the devil, and I mean, yes, addiction is one of its terms, and you know, obsessions and stuff, but there's this thing where it's like, it, everyone kind of has one in a way, but it's, it's your, basically what it is, it's your weakness, right? Uh, every shopping can be smoking, drinking, right? Lots of different addictions. But uh, or you know, overconsumption. It can be social media for heaven's sakes, right? But this is very interesting. So we have the magician here opposite of the nine of swords. So now we're seeing some swords energy here. But it's in the feelings about this situation. So the thoughts are, it seems extremely clear. The feelings are very, there's um, a lot of trepidation here. But there could be um, a creating worst case scenario as well. So I would, you either could have been here before in this situation or... I see here, honestly, there's a nine lives feeling here. I can't explain it. Um, yeah, with the nine of swords here opposite. 
with the devil in the center here and the feelings, there's this sense of like, you got to get it right this time. Yeah. And it's probably this manifestation power just being placed. Um, sleeplessness. Wow, someone is worried here. Someone is concerned about sleeping, where to sleep, where someone else is sleeping. You could be dealing with um, more Mercury energy here, Virgo and Capricorn energy showing up. Either those signs, those people, or those houses, right? So 6th or 10th house as well. Hmm. Very, very intense reading this became. <laughs> so, hmm. So in the heart... Something's very clear here in the mind about this position or that you want to, this person that you want to be seen as or this position you want to play here. But it seems, like I say here, very organic. And now we're dealing in the thoughts anyway, right? The feelings, yeah, this is, could be codependency here as well. Temptation, ultimately, like something, mm, like you almost can't get away from it or something. <laughs> you know, and if this, this could be, yeah, if it's a twin flame thing, for example, it's just, you know, it could be fulfilling something here in that has been on, that you know in your mind is this, you know, sweet, <laughs> gentle, it's just like a gentle beginning here. You're dealing with, I would say like, there's like a soul quality here and you're dealing with mentally, there's a, um, connection if that's an understatement right there's a big connection here and in the heart about this connection I just see control yeah and this like manifesting There's a lot of sleeplessness around can't getting off someone's mind here as well because this could be a realization. Like I say, I don't see these cards show up very often together. These are quite beautiful cards energetically, right? So, yeah, this... Um, This could feel like there's no getting away from this as well. <laughs> and that's where the nine lives is coming in. Hmm. All right, let me get some more cards here. What's the most probable outcome? What's the most probable outcome for this situation collective? A lot of lusty energy as well. So maybe there's just two sides. <clears throat> hmm, remember I said roll? Like maybe there's just, <clears throat> excuse me, two situations or, or um, placements in a relationship here that are just filled naturally that suit each other it's like yeah it's like a love language what is the most probable outcome here for this situation collective hmm. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. Holy smokes. I mean... Wow. All right. So let me look. these cards here wow so we saw yesterday a couple of tens right we saw the ten of swords and the ten of wands we knew that there was like this completion now we see here this fixed energy wheel of fortune right so we have Jupiter enhancing this energy and that is philosophy it is also good luck so this is considered your time you know the timing Something comes back around here, particularly because we have judgment here. So we can say that there is a coming back around. Even though we're out of Mercury retrograde, it could just be someone or something. This offer here. Yeah, another, another chance is going to be taken because there's an opportunity. And it seems like it's weird. It's not like a fixation here with the devil in the mind, I would say. It's like this toxic fixation maybe. And it's like here in the heart, I mean, it's still a lot of, it's like possessive energy, right? It's that dominating energy. So they could you or the other person here could, whoever story this is, could feel dominated by this because it's in their own heart. And it could be through, um, you know, seeing for themselves what mentally makes sense to them in an organic partnership. Hmm. Okay, I don't even know what that means yet, but that's what I'm seeing. I just, yeah. And in terms of this, you know, the most probable outcome, the Wheel of Fortune here being opposite of the Page of Cups. That coming back around energy, for sure. Yeah, the timing has to be, and again, remember this is about communication, this page here. You know, what's dear to you, so very interesting collective. Let us see what external energy looks like here, or, <coughs> excuse me, influences external to you. And we have the Judgment card, the Six of Swords, and the Seven of Wands, all right? So moving on from calmer waters here in the heart, this could be actual travel and someone is very defensive here. Yes, I mean, this does have travel energy. We're seeing this more here. This could be within, however, but it could be, because it's a major arcana, it could be, um, I'm just looking here with the internal energy there for a moment. You know, a place you go in your own emotions. So this could be emotional, it could be physical travel, but moving away from this mentally stressful place where there's anxiety here in your heart. Again, around a manifestation. All right. Um, so here we have some more Jupiter energy. And we have that second chance coming back around. That blessed angelic energy. Look, guys, you have angels all over the place. Major arcana angels all over this reading. It's pretty intense, right? Because these are 
very powerful energies, they they trump the the minor arcana, so it, they they they're a standout. They have significantly more say or sway. So yeah, they're defending this position. You or the other person, there's a defensiveness here. But they're going to do it anyway. And yeah, we saw that yesterday as well. Like there's this, it doesn't matter at this point, do it anyway. <laughs> it's not caution to the wind though. It's something that is a natural progression here. I think this is just moving along toward something that now in your mind, it looks like mentally here, seems to click. It's like something just unlocked or something. So yes, looking, they could be, this is what this concern could be about is meeting with defensiveness upon this arrival or return as well. But communication, right? The sword's energy here. This is going on in your mind usually. Um, unless you're talking about other, to other people about your anxieties, you're moving on mentally here or traveling. But yeah. All right, let's look at internal energies. This is usually just subconscious energy. Okay, so we have the chariot, the uh, queen of pentacles, and the five of wands. All right. So we have some Capricorn energy showing up again. Cancer's showing up here, Cancer energy. And then we have um, this earth sign female that could be showing up here as well. So yeah, um, competition is showing up on either side of this, you know, fruitful energy. This is probably someone who's very sensual and, you know, is you know, values money and um, yeah, like uh, savings and works hard, has a lot of assets, you know, there is that well-to-do energy here, right? Stocks and bonds and all that type of thing. And all those types of things rather and then this travel card showing up again so yeah and this going on internally so this is a real hmm, right you can sort of see this in the thoughts about this this is an actual trip for you um, like this is a journey here with regard to you know and nurturing this energy if this is about savings or banking for you this is about you being so friggin' determined and obsessed, maybe, <laughs> with creating this vision, being able to be creative about earning potential around this vision, where something has recently clicked here. Um, if it's not that what's going on, this is just about this inner, perhaps, conflict or turmoil competition really and it's a good thing the five of wands is my favorite five just because it forces us to grow a little bit in a very short amount of time so it's a relatively painless energy but you know there is a three of swords at the bottom of the deck here so there could be uh someone and that's what that's what this is showing up about someone could be clinging on after someone makes up their mind about something or someone still can't let go of someone else. But the thoughts are clear about it. There is this sense of gaining perspective on the direction that you're taking. This victorious direction is showing up twice. So yeah, you know which direction you're going in. You, this could involve a vehicle or a home or a boat, a ship, um, you know, airplanes, whatever type of travel <laughs> you have going on. So bottom of, bottom of the deck energy, 10 of cups, 
and the Three of Swords. So, hmm, Cups energy showing up with the situation, mirroring this joy with this huge broken heart here. So this is something that probably should be communicated. If you have a chance to communicate what's on your mind, perhaps, and there hasn't been communication or you feel like someone's back is going to be up, it might be nice. Yeah, and the Eight of Wands under that. Because I think at this point it might be wise to share what's on your mind about something, particularly if there is a coming back story or revisiting something story here. But yeah, a broken heart over a very happy home. Lots of love here. Something you could just need to start again here. Maybe, like I say, this competition with yourself, maybe even within a relationship, if you're already partnered, you could just be learning something about yourself here, how to, you know, your, your person's love language and how to give them what they need here so that you don't go through this again. But yeah, this is like a heartache. A very very sad it could be a be a breakup um, after a choice right because this is the choice the clear mind so very interesting reading so if for nothing else at least you know what is important to you what's on your mind which direction it seems you seem to know which direction you're going in and maybe the tens are also completion, right? So maybe this is the last time you are going to have to make this same mistake or, you know, break a heart or have your heart broken around this very happy ending, this happy home, like, love story for you. Yeah, it's, this is very interesting. I never know what I'm going to see. I love doing these for you. I hope it's helpful to someone out there. And um, yeah, Collective, good luck out there. And have a little fun. Have a little fun. Try to, um, try to remember that life is but a dream. <laughs> while you make all these decisions here and these big moves possibly travel and exciting partnerships wow um super fun thanks as always i'll see you in the next one bye for now